61A lecture number 26, announcements. Homework 9 was extended. It's due Monday. Monday's pretty soon. Please get started. Homework 10 is due on Thursday. It will include regular problems and quiz questions. So make sure to leave some time for homework 10. Midterm 2 regrade requests are due on Friday. You should now have received an email with your graded midterm. Please look over it, ask questions about it in lab and discussion, and if you think a rubric was in applied incorrectly to anything on your exam, file a regrade request in Gradescope. You should also have received composition feedback for your MAPS project. If you'd like to earn back any lost composition points on MAPS, you can do so by revising your project according to the suggestions made by your reviewer, and then typing Python 3 OK dash dash revise by Sunday the 6th of November. You should also attend discussion. We have a new midterm recovery policy just instituted, which is that for all students who scored below 45 out of 90 combined for their midterm 1 and midterm 2 scores, which is not unusual, you can earn back some of those exam points by attending discussion. Now, attending discussion also counts toward your section participation score, so you should be doing that anyway but I thought I'd give you some extra motivation. This also means that since you can earn back some of these points, it's not like anybody who's been keeping up with the course is in a position where they cannot pass. Regardless of your midterm scores, if you score some points on the final exam and turn in all your assignments, it's possible to pass this course and even get reasonably good grade without getting a ton of points on the midterms. Let me just say one word about the exam itself. As a class, you did very well. I'm quite impressed by how much progress you've made. This was certainly a long and challenging exam. Some people uh, have expressed to me that they're disappointed in their score. Well, first of all, uh, solving the whole exam is not something that most people do. So uh, don't worry so much about certain problems. Focus on just doing the best you can and solving the most that you can. And I want to say how to prepare yourself for success. First, make sure you master the what would Python display and environment diagram questions. Those mean learning all the rules of the language, and that's a lot, but those are important things to know so that you can program. Then you'll move on to answering questions where you have to write the implementation. And there, you need to make sure to prepare yourself while you're solving lab and homework and project questions. If you find that you're generating solutions that you think might work but you're not sure, and then running the test cases to discover whether they work or not, try a different approach, where you work on your implementation without running the tests for a while, thinking about the tests on your own, until you're convinced this is something that should pass the test. Then run the tests. You might be pleasantly surprised to discover that you've built an implementation from scratch that does the right thing. If not, you'll get some feedback from the tests. But give yourself a timer where you're going to work on your implementation for several minutes, thinking through what's going to happen when you run the tests again without running them, to give yourself the experience of analyzing code on your own. Only when you're quite sure that the test will pass would you run the tests again. We're not going to force you to stop running tests all the time, but if you found you've gotten in the habit of running the test 50 or 60 times while solving a problem, that probably means you're doing some amount of guess and check, and your goal should be to run them maybe three or four times, or maybe just once. Start with lab questions, which tend to be a little bit easier, and then work up toward homework questions. It's also a good idea to make sure that after you've turned in a problem, you can still solve that problem a couple of days later. Doing some review of whatever you've turned in before can really help improve your mastery of the material in this course. I hope that helps. Keep working hard. It's fantastic how far you've come so far, and I can't wait to see what you'll do next.